hey what's up guys this is kd cloudy and this video is everything you need to know about hdr like simplify it uh since i don't think a lot a lot of people have a grasp of what hdr video actually is and you might have seen like hdr video 8k hdr videos and dolby vision video samples floating around youtube you click on them and they look very good but you really can't put your finger about what is so actually nice about them what is so vastly different about them because let's face it they all look the same and youtube is to be fair the worst place to put hdr video on and also apple recently announced hdr dolby vision recording so i decided to take this opportunity being the enthusiast i am about hdr to you know simplify and explain it and break it down for everybody who is kind of confused or doesn't know about hdr but so yeah Let's get started. Now it's customary to start with the full form itself. HDR stands for high dynamic range and it's different from HDR for photos where you just stitch multiple photos to get a better image. HDR for video is way more complex and way more different. Now if you take an SDR video and an HDR video and compare them side by side, the benefits of HDR video is that it's brighter, like the content actually brightens up the screen more and it shows a ton more colors. It's as simple as that. Now, getting into the actual numbers itself, SDR video supports up to a thousand nits of luminance or brightness and is mastered in the Rec. 709 color space. And HDR video starts at a thousand nits of brightness and is mastered in the BT2020 color space. So that's a lot more colors and a lot more nits. So you can easily see, judging by these numbers, how HDR is supposed to be better. So in theory, what happens is that if you're watching HDR content on an HDR display and suppose there is a very bright object like the sun right on the frame of the movie or the TV show you're watching, the TV brightness cranks all the way up to replicate the actual luminance and the brightness of the sun. I mean, not exactly the sun, but you get the point. So it means that when you see a very bright and shiny object, a very luminant object, you might need to squint your eyes a little bit. And this combined with the higher color space means that you get better nuanced uh, reds and greens. And that's the only, uh, th those are the only colors you, you'll actually observe when you're looking at HDR content. Now this was HDR I talked about. There are way too many different formats of HDR. Uh, so let's talk about that. There are two main categories of HDR video. TQ stands for Perceptual Quantizer and HLG stands for Hybrid Log Gamma. Now these are technically EOTFs and explaining these and understanding these is sort of like out of the scope of this video even I don't understand what these are and you'll probably need to take a signal processing class to actually understand what this actually is because there is a lot of math involved on the back end. So yeah what you need to know is that there are two broad formats PQ and HLG. PQ is sort of like the industry standard format and other companies take PQ as a reference standard and make their own formats out of it. And there are plenty of PQ based formats already, like HDR10, which is by far the most popular one, HDR10+, Plus, which is developed by Samsung and Amazon, and Dolby Vision, which is by far the most superior format, uh, and it's owned by Dolby. And the thing is that all of these formats are owned by somebody, so if you want to use them, you need to pay a royalty or a licensing fee for that. So easily it makes it very inaccessible for average consumers to you know make content in these premium formats and that's where hlg comes in hlg on the other hand is a royalty free format developed by bbc and it's mostly intended for like television stuff and all that and the difference between pq and hlg lies in metadata and what metadata essentially does is that you specify two values called max cll and max fall these basically specify the highest brightness and the lowest brightness on a scene by scene basis and that provides like an optimized viewing experience so only brighter scenes will uh, crank the display brightness to, a, to the highest level and darker scenes will dim the display and it's not at a constant level of brightness all the way throughout that's the simplified version on the other hand hlg doesn't require metadata so you can easily watch them on sdr based displays and if you want to watch pq based HDR10 or Dolby Vision content on an SDR display, you need software support. And by software support, I mean something called tone mapping. Tone mapping is the HDR equivalent of downsampling, like how you, you can watch a 4K 
video file on a 1080p display it's basically you know shrinking it down to fit your device resolution similarly tone mapping is a set of algorithms which will downsample all the color data all the luminance data to fit what your device can offer now to explain how hdr content is made in a brief manner the key point is that you don't shoot directly in hdr technically you do but you there's a lot of post-processing involved there's a lot of software stuff involved in traditional hollywood workflows what happens is that most movies are shot in a raw format or a 10-bit log format which looks something like this i know it looks very you know washed out but this is like the normal standard to shoot video but this washed out looking footage is taken to a colorist and their labs and their post-processing studios and they do all their magic to make it look normal and the color grading process is the stage where you add those metadata you adjust the histograms you adjust the luminance and make it and package it into an hdr container because pretty much all cameras shoot hdr it's just the grading process where you need to tweak it and flip that hdr switch and package it in an hdr container and because of that hdr content creation is limited and exclusive to those high-end colorists and apple is kind of taking this a step further by offering hlg or hdr recording on their iphone 12 and i'm really excited to check that out uh, the verge has made a quite a comprehensive article on how it works right now and for now it looks like they have done uh, they've done some interesting stuff they're recording it in hlg and then converting it into dolby vision i will have to check it out for myself uh, and that's gonna be soon by the time you watch this video i will have pre-ordered probably the iphone 12 and that comes around a week from now so i'm really excited for that so definitely subscribe to watch all that iphone 12 content and but yeah ending thoughts are that it's great that they are providing hdr capabilities to the average consumer and final cut pro is also getting an update to actually edit and export dolby vision content which is awesome the point is that having bad hdr is worse than having no hdr at all and a lot of movies and tv shows are guilty of this they will just take a 200 nit file and drop it in a in an hdr container and if you try to watch that on an sdr display it just it sucks looking at it and all of these movies really don't you know leverage the benefits of hdr because when hdr done right can actually give you more benefits than doubling pixels and increasing resolution and when this kind of stuff happens it's very disappointing and comes off like hdr is definitely a gimmick and there is a reason why colorists professional colorists exist to grade hdr footage and charge you 300 dollars an hour for it because it takes very like extreme precision and care and experience and that's why i'm really interested to see how the a14 bionics image signaling processor can compare a professional colorist so i mean i just really hope it actually is hdr and not just sdr video in an hdr metadata container but yeah all of these doubts and questions and queries will be answered once i get the iphone 12 in my hands and i can test all those features for myself and that's gonna be a while but until then subscribe thank you so much for watching and if you want to know more about hdr video i will leave a link to wolf Krause video that's the best most in-depth nerdy explanation about hdr content and also gerald undone if you want to know more about hlg video and also hdtv tests videos he reviews hdtvs and also like hdr movies how good are they in terms of luminance all of that stuff if you if this piqued any interest to you i really hope you check those those youtubers out and if you have any questions I'll try to answer them. I'll hang out in the comment section down below. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.